the formation of soil. Soil is a mixture of geological and co organic components that cover the majority of land surfaces. So the components of soil. Soil takes up to thousands of years to form by the weathering of rocks, which is minerals, and organic matter. Thus, soil is mainly composed of minerals and organic matter, which I just said. Yeah. So the general rule is that the newer the soil, uh, it has less nutri nutrients than the older soil. So this is new soil and this is the old soil. And as you can see, the soil is very limited and has very little nutrients. And as it grows older, it covers more area. And uh, yeah, so you could just look at the picture. The five factors that determine the properties of soil. First, we have the parent material, climate, topography, organisms, and time. So, the parent material. Parent material is the rock material underlying soil, underlying the soil from its organic components. It has certain effects on the soil above, such as uh, quartz sand will drain the nutrients from the soil above, and calcium carbonate parent material has a high calcium and high pH which allots for more agricultural growth. So in the Midwest of the United States, we have a lot of calcium carbonate, which is uh, helpful for agricultural growth. So climate. Uh, soil doesn't form well when climate is below freezing because obviously the organic matter won't decompose since it's ice and the water doesn't flow since it's ice. Solid, rapid, I'm <laughs> solid. Soil rapidly forms in the humid weather of hot temperature where decomposition and mineral erosion is accelerated. Since there's lots of rain, there's lots of uh, floods and, you know, stuff like that, the erosion is accelerated. So also, the life that decomposes will also affect the soil. So if there's a lot of life, there, there will be lots of nutrients and uh, many components of the cycle. If it's in the desert, there obviously won't be that much nutrients. The topography. The topography is the surface slope and arrangement of the landscape. So soil at a steep angle, which is like this, will succumb to the weathering more than the soil at the bottom since a lot of the water and rain from uh, like thunderstorms will wash away the soil more often. And the soil at the bottom gets more nutrients that flows down from the soil at an angle since all the organic matter will flow down when it rains. Organisms. Organisms constantly affect the soil. Plants absorb nutrients from the soil while excreting acids that speed up chemical weathering. Animals such as worms and gophers mix up the soil around to distribute matter uniformly. Uniformly. So, yeah. Time. The amount of time that the soil has accumulated under its belt generally gives it more nutrients. Time and organic decomposition equals more depth and nutrients as I, early, as I said earlier but there, this isn't always the case sometimes the area has little plant growth or too much water flow which will wash away too, an excess amount of nutrients that so it can't sustain plant growth so thank you for watching my video and yeah you're welcome